Well, first, I you know, want to certainly commend you know, Northern Kentucky. Um, they really, we knew they'd be a, it'd be a tough game for us. I was impressed with them all the way around. Their their toughness, their their um, their shooting, obviously. Uh, they really have um, mobile forwards that really created problems for our big guys, and that's why we had to go to a smaller lineup. But I can't, I couldn't be prouder of our. Of the freshmen, how they stepped up, Victor, David, and uh, and Jamal. That's not to say that our other players didn't, but it was a good team effort. You know, we finally found a way to you know, make to get assists, and uh, so I'm impressed with with our with our youngsters today. Well, I hope it raises our confidence. I mean, there are certain some guys didn't play well, and they're probably not going to be as as uh, as confident as the guys that were in the game and playing well. But that's it's a team effort, and I think they know that. But um, yeah, this should really I know it really gives me a lot of faith and a lot of belief, especially in our in our bench. You know, they stepped up. Uh, you know, guys like as I mentioned before, Victor did a good job. David did a great job. You know. Uh, Jamal, but then you know Jeremiah did what he had to do. Really ran the show. Six assists, no turnovers, 35 minutes. You know, Kevin Davenport was was outstanding. With um, you know, and we had balance scoring. So, and then you know, Jamario Rivers, he just plays with such heart and such hustle. So, yeah, it gives me a lot of belief in that that we got the right guys. And and we needed the game. Well, you need you don't really need games like this, but when you win games like this, it should. Um, galvanize kids to know that hey, this is where how you have to play in order to pull out. And you had we made clutch plays down the stretch, and that's what it's about. Made some free throws down the stretch, got the stops we needed to get to get back in the game, and uh, and, and solidify the win. Tell you mentioned the, uh, the small lineup. What do you think that gave you there, especially over the course of the second half on both ends? Well, when you put in uh, well, with Jamal, and because he's a solid, very fundamental defensive player, and he's not going to gamble and take chances, so you know that alone settles us down. And he's more athletic than you think. Um, and when you go with um, Jamario and Keevan, and then David gives us a six-eight kid that can really pass the ball, and he's learning, you know, our system. Uh, again, that that, and with them knocking down threes, we had to have people that have the foot speed and the, to get out there to take away the threes and challenge the threes, which we did a better job of in the second half. Um, and, you know, they, they went six for 19, 31 after shooting 45 percent. So, and that's what the small lineup does, and it gives us a better passing team, a more mobile team. You know, now they've got to guard us off the dribble as well, and uh, and so I think that's the. That's why the, the small lineup is so important. Talk about the, the play of the two freshmen, Jamal Johnson and David Nick Berry. Uh, the bye for, for 18 points for you. I think they big in, in uh, the second half. No question about it. No question about it. They were they were the difference makers because we were really struggling. You know, I'll, I'll, you know, Rainier had gone to, a, you know, he had been at a funeral. I've been to a, his had a death in his family, so he's been gone for a couple of days. So he really just got back, so he wasn't very, you know. And then Mike, you know, he's struggling, just kind of, you know, the game has been it's a little fast for him, so he's got to work on that. So, so now David and Victor, Victor especially gives us a lot of mobility. You ask him about our freshman, right? And they, they, um, they're very active. They're eager, you know. They're eager to please, you know. That's um. They know that, and that's what it's about. You know, you gotta. You know, they, they know they belong here. They know that I believe in them, and they, you know, they behave <laughs> the right way. Just to be honest with you, by that I mean they behave and do what they do exactly the way. So, and that's not. That's no. That's not the other guys are not doing what they actually do. It's just hard for them. It's just hard because they have to learn a new system. And I say that about junior college players. They really don't. They really don't really blossom until about mid-year. That's just that's just been my experience with a lot of the kids. Uh, so 
you got the coach's box warning, and then Coach Esposito came out and said something to you, and then had to put some tape down. Was he just trying to keep you from getting the tape? Yes, yes, he was. He, you know, because you, you know, it's it's black. That line is black, and it kind of blends in with the blue. And so you get the, you know, I've got a little fired up there, and um, <laughs> and you know, I'd probably need to be more fired up, but that's not a, you know, and and I thought they were, again. The you know we were getting after them defensively, and I thought we were really taking the ball to the basket. And that's why we were able to get to the free throw line, and uh, I thought in the end we really made you know a, we shot better in the second half. But that's that's what it was. He just put that white tape down there so I could see it. Do you feel like you've been more fired up this season rather than, last, than you were last season? Well, we had more veteran players. You know, we had experienced players, and they were very. Uh, so this this group, you got to learn what 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 inspires, what motivates them, uh, how you want to, you know, what in, what gets them gets them motivated, gets them playing harder, uh, and I probably need to be more engaged with them. Uh, you know, again, both Jamario and and uh, Jeremiah, you know, they're you know they've got a new role as far as leadership is concerned, and that's. Uh, that that and they're learning that they're learning what they need to do and and that those guys are going to re, be following them and so they've got to lead the right way, and and they are they are and so it just takes, but just anything else it takes time. You know. Coach, you got the big win today. What areas do you feel like your team needs to improve on? Well, we uh, you know we did shoot 62 percent in the second half, so really stepped up and 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 shot the ball well in the second half. We. You know, we went from 18% to 30, but we've got to shoot the ball better and, and and execute better to get to score more points. We just, you know, I don't know. We're just, excuse me, you know, we had 17 assists. A lot of them had to be, you know, two of them were tough shots by Jamal. So we're not, we're not finding the open man. We're really not passing and sharing the ball the way we should. And that's a real, real concern for me. You know, guys want to dribble a lot. Uh, instead of pass, so that's the main. Uh, and I think defensively, you know, we we struggled obviously in the first half, but we did a better job in the second half. We just need to continue to to uh, learn the system and um, and give that second and third effort. I, I thought down the stretch we did that. Well, I really haven't watched, but I know what they did here last year. They were very good. They gave us all we wanted, and and they do. Uh, obviously, that's a tough place to play. Um, I'd hate to comment right now about them, but because uh, I really haven't seen their record, I haven't watched. But we'll start immediately <laughs> after tonight. And Well, you know, it, I'm not in their heads, but I would hope that, you know, the guys that, that didn't, you know, that weren't in the game and the guys, obviously the guys in the game that were that helped get the comeback, that made the comeback, obviously they believe that, and and, and, and not that they didn't make mistakes, but uh, but that's that's what it is. It's, it's a belief value, and that takes, takes time for guys to say, look, coach, you know, I'm all in. I'm... I'm uh, I'm worthy of your praise. I'm worthy of playing, and this is and so. So my whole thing is just show me every time you're on the court. And just like I tell them, you may not get a second chance to make a first impression. So impress me. Impress the team. Impress your teammates. Impress the opposing team by doing the little things and playing harder. I mean, if a guy's here near the basket, jump and try to block a shot. Don't you know? If a guy's balls on the floor, dive on the floor. So. Uh, that's that's what it's all about with me. Just um, and that's what we're gonna, that's where we're gonna have to play. We're gonna have to outwork people. We're gonna have to out hustle people. Because um, you know we really don't have that offensive juggernaut, but we can if we just would, you know, continue. Again, it's the little things, the details. When you post up, you know, coming to meet passes, you know, taking the ball strong to the basket. Um, you know, defensively. When you switch, make sure you, you know, just as some it's communication, not just communicating among players and players, communicating between coach and players as well. 
Which one? Well, I, I've been very impressed with Jamal. You know, really, he's as poised as a freshman, and he's really uh, under control. You know, both offensively and defensively, he's very uh, coachable. He's very, you know, he doesn't get too high, get too low. He's just expressionless. He plays his demeanor is 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 as uh, you don't know whether you know he plays the same way, and that's the way he is in practice, and he carries over to the game. Well, I thought our guys, you know, we, we went with a small lineup, and I think that helped. Now we were able to try to, you know, limit his touches, um, close out on him uh, quicker. Uh, I thought that was key. You know, we, we tried to – we mixed up our defense in the second half, and I thought that kept – as I said before, it made them um, uh, go at go to different options, to a second and third options, um, and basically we just really we wanted to concentrate. Even though he four for seven, I thought he had a pretty good game. You know, he eight rebounds. He was pretty solid in my book. He just didn't he just didn't score his point. He didn't go for. I don't know. Has it been for thirty lately? He's had. He's averaging 15, 18 points. He's averaging fifteen. So he did have what ten. So I thought we did a. Uh, a fantastic job in that regard. Thank you. Thank you.